All right, let's talk about smart batteries. Let me show you these. All right, last promise by EcoFlow, they send me a couple of their, uh, what's it called? Smart Extra Battery for the EcoFlow Max, Delta Max, right? And so these are batteries that you can use to, uh, well, extend the capacity of your EcoFlow Max, Delta Max, right? This one has two kilowatt hours in there. And by adding these ones, you add a further, an extra two kilowatt hours and then another two kilowatt. So this is four, this is a total of six kilowatt hours of capacity, right? I was hoping that they would have more things in here, but they don't. This is literally just a screen to let you know what's going on and then an on and off button. Uh, and then that's it, a big connector that goes from the uh, battery to the Delta Max, right? And so that's how you connect them. But let's talk about the smartness, right? Because what am I talking about? All right, so what do I mean by a smart battery? Look, I've been working with batteries for a long time and let's just pretend, well, actually let's not pretend, this is an actual battery here. We have a battery here. Right, and if you want to add more battery to this, then you just add another one, right? Another one, and then you connect the the cables, the positive and the negative, to the positive and the negative, right? But this way of connecting a battery is kind of a dumb way to do it, right? It's just like there's no smarts in it. So what's going to happen here is that if this battery is fully charged and this battery is fully discharged, then this battery is going to charge this one. And you pretty much have no control over that. It's just differential of voltage, right? And let's say you add another battery over here, right? And this one is also, uh, you know, like at 50% or something. This is at 100, 50%, this is at zero. Both of these are going to start charging this one, right? So at a different rate. And you have no control of uh, adjusting the rate at which these are going to charge. So this are dumb batteries and people we've been doing this for a long time uh it's okay you can connect them together there's gonna a huge amount of current at first and then it just tapers down the problem is that sometimes for example let's say that you have your main battery this one right here and it's got i don't know 50 percent right you're at 50 percent state of charge and you're like whoa okay i wanted to i wanted to last a long time i'm gonna add this secondary battery that's got, you know, 20%, all right? And so you put it in there and you thought, well, 20%, you should, you want those 20% to go into this one so that you can use it, right? Because this is the main one that it has all your ports and all your connections and all your devices that you want to power. Well, that's not going to work because if it's just a dumb battery, then what is going to happen is that instead of this, you, you being able to use this 20% what's gonna happen is that this one's gonna start charging this one because it's at a higher state of charge, right? Uh, higher differential voltage from this way to that way, right? And so that's what's gonna happen. And so what's gonna do that every time you transfer power from one to the other one, you lose a little bit, right? So instead of using the 50% here and the 20% here, you have 70%, right? No, that's not gonna work. You might have maybe somewhere around like, you know, 65 or 68, I don't know. There's some gonna be some losses in there. And it's further uh, augmented if you put some other battery that has some other state of charge, right? And so in, in that instance, this is not gonna work. You're gonna be like, well, there's some power in here, but can I put it in there? No. Uh, also, maybe if you wanna charge it, you have to charge it through the main battery. Uh, do you want all of them to go up at the same time or should you concentrate and prioritize the main one? And then once that one's charged, then you can charge these other ones, right? These are all things that you require smarts to do, right? Um, also for safety reasons, sometimes they will have like a BMS system in here, each separate one. And so whenever that is at zero state of charge, then it would turn itself off. And if you start charging, right? And you want all three to be charged. So, the aim at here is to actually to have these batteries behave like they were one big one, right? But sometimes it doesn't because if you start charging this one and the BMS on this one's off and this one, then this one will charge your main one, but not your external batteries. And so those are kind of the things that are dumb about dumb batteries.
but the smart ones, let me show you. But EcoFlow here have the, what I would call the smartest batteries in the market right now, right? Because this thing, look, when you connect them in here, they're all off, right? They're just connected. And if you want to turn them on, right? All you have to do is turn this guy on and look at that. All the other ones turn on. Actually, they're on. I don't know why it doesn't show the thing, but they are on. Um, yeah, that's a little bit annoying, but they are on. Let me show you. I'm going to turn them off, right? Boom. They all turn themselves off. So here's another thing. Uh, one of the competitors, I'm reviewing an, a competitor of EcoFlow, and they have an external battery. And when you go to charge it, then... Um, what happens is that if these are off, the output batteries or the auxiliary batteries, then they don't come on right automatically. Let me show you this. I'm gonna simulate a solar charge on the solar input. Let's see how they come on. So it's gonna recognize the thing. Boom, it's gonna start charging. It's gonna turn these one batteries. It's gonna charge. And in fact, you will start to see some charge, right? It's about two, 300. 400 watts and 200 are coming here and then 100 200 are coming there so it's splitting all the charge equally into these batteries right here right so these things are very smart all right so what else can i say about this system right here i i just today was announced that ecoflow is actually coming up with a delta mini so there's a smaller version of this one and then there's also the delta 1300 that is smaller and then there is this one right here the delta max and then there's a delta pro which i have over there downstairs um i'm gonna review the delta pro right and so this is what i would call a mid level uh system right it's, you can it's a two kilowatt hour system you could add two more kilowatt hours or more or up to four kilowatt hours with two external batteries and this is a nice middle ground between being light powerful uh and small and so if those things are important to you right with some expandability right but i think this is it six kilowatt hours is about the top of how you can expand this if you want more than that right um then you can go to the pro and then you can that one goes all the way to uh, i don't know 12 kilowatt hours or something like that if you add two of the batteries because they're three and a half or something like so if you're looking for something in the middle range and like portability and size and weight right it's uh important to you i think the delta max is gonna be the one for you all right, thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for the Delta Pro review that I have coming up. Okay, I just gotta say something. The ability to do this and then look at that. Right, the ability to do that, it's a game changer. It's a game changer. All the other guys, you gotta pick it up. Uh, you gotta carry it, uh, right? Uh. So, which one will you choose?